Hello everybody and welcome to this guide and tutorial for the golden shot difficulty level is hard and I'm going to give you five shots which all of them are hole in ones and I'm going to talk through the shots and I will give you the adjustment that I feel is going to give us the best way to maximize the opportunity to get a chest or Two, before we start, make sure that you do uh, hit that thumbs up button, that means a lot. Also, subscribe to the channel, it's totally for free. And you can uh, turn on the notifications to get a notification every time we are live or having a new video. Get the ultimate tournament guides uh, for tournaments. Patreon.com slash Gold of Clash Tommy. Everyone having any of our tournament packet will get some free tour text guides um, that is will be included in the month of May. Link directly in the description down below. So we're gonna play hole number five of that catcher reserve, and this is a tough one. I want to say that already from the start. This is not some uh, hole where we go in and we're gonna just bomb the hole in once all the time. We have a good guide, but it somewhat requires you to be focused on your adjustment. If being a bit sloppy here or there, you will find yourself having a very weird result as it is a very bumpy fairway that we will be playing on. We won't be playing the rough bump here because the rough bump is going to be be, be in between clubs in tailwind, crosswind and headwind. So that is something to, to, uh, to have in mind. So you can win the whole, like if you get the hole in one, you get the obsidian chest. And then would you have the amber chest as the yellow ring, a crimson chest as the red ring, would you have the aqua chest as the light blue ring, and then cobalt chest as the dark blue ring. And we have the wind between 5 to 7 miles per hour, and we're gonna play maximum distance plus 10 with our long iron every single time. Doesn't matter what wind you're gonna have, that's what you're going to do. You have the VPR table on the right hand side to display the amount of rings to pull based on the wind that we're going to have. Obviously it's much more simpli not simplified but much more easier to just use the text guide that we always have for the golden shot and the text guide will be in the description down below but you'll also find that one for free on golfclashtommy.com your free source for all Golf Clash content here in the game so landing position let's take a look and we're going to take a look at this one first this is the landing position we will be using in any form of tailwind and you can see here that this is before spin so we have the top of the yellow ring by the rough line second bounce directly into the center of the dark green square that is as you can see there on the picture and to help you even more you can use the plus three yard mark as a reference as well and this is with the tailwind in headwind and in crosswind we are not going to touch our target at all we're going to play a no movement shot to simplify it a lot why don't i use the same landing position for tailwind headwind and crosswind it's because in headwind we will otherwise go massively in between clubs if we're going to use the position we do have in tailwind so i wanted to do a two-way landing position because using the no movement position in tailwind is going to cause you having a glitch by the fringe that will happen and more times than we want it to happen so that's why we have a double setup here for this version so no movement in crosswind and in headwind and then in tailwind we do find the position as shown just before where it's going to be a little bit trickier to find which obviously a no movement is a no movement that's a very simple setup and what a no movement means for those that have never played it and never heard about it it means that you once again shall not touch your target until you have you until you're going to adjust for the rings so let's take a look at five shots here and let's talk it through them at the same time obviously and we start with a crosswind headwind coming left to right and then remember headwind we have a no movement so we only we go the thing we're gonna do is to set up spin 0 0.8 bars of side spin to the right and we will be playing 3.1 miles per sorry 3.1 rings for 5.1 miles per hour 
center the ball very important having a little curl here and there or a little bit under power or over power will affect the shot more than uh, more than we want it to be you can see here comes in with a lovely speed right at pin to start with for a beautiful hole in one one thing to also have in mind is that i will be pulling over the bullseye on every single shot and that is important that you do that you do that yourself because if pulling to the bullseye you don't really know if you get the correct adjustment or not as the bullseye is blurry we're circle ball. So let's move on and we do have wind coming very similar to what we had before southeast wind 0 0.8 bars of a right side spin and we play no movement as we do have headwind 6.6 .6 miles per hour gives us four rings so we are setting up and we adjust the four rings and then we're going to take so one thing to have in mind when it comes to headwind is that if you do have a direct headwind you may uh, adjust up into overpower what to do then you shall not use any power any overpower whatsoever so it all it it is all built in to the uh, adjustment with the spins and stuff like that so have that in mind please obsidian just once again and we got the hole in one with a nice speed nice roll absolutely love that and we do get nirvana we do have some castaway yuck and then we do have some berserker balls let's move on now we do have tailwind look now we're not gonna play no movement so we move up top of the yellow ring by the rough line and then the second bounce into the dark green square row before we add spin then we're gonna add spin and you can see here we use one and a half bar sides sorry one and a half bar backspin and just a just a zero point one like just a tiny tiny click of side spin to the right 5.6 miles per hour gives us 3.4 rings we do adjust the 3.4 now let's hit a perfect ball we do and the ball is bouncing nicely on the fairway up onto the fringe and then roll towards the pin here for a lovely hole in one and once again the reason we move up and the reason we don't play the no movement in tailwind is to prevent us from having a glitch being in play and which obviously is crap but in the end though that is something that this core is always going to have because they has many bumps many glitches and that's my job to get you into a spot where you don't going to have to get those and we're gonna have to have a good success otherwise so now have a little bit more crosswind okay now we will still go up as it is tailwind so we are going to go up with the yellow ring uh, with by the rough line second bounce into the dark green square one and a half bar backspin no side spin whatsoever here what i'm using and then the 5.2 miles per hour gives us a total of 3.1 rings time to hit perfect which we will do perfect ball and you will see this one once again it bounces nicely on the fairway up on the fringe and then roll towards the pin and right that pin for a beautiful hole in one once again here so two with tailwinds two with a headwind slash and no uh, like not slash but headwind and no movement obsidian chest let's see what we do get in this chest here rough cutter saturn fake topper and then we have skewer and then some hornet cards berserker balls as well and we end up with the last of the hole in ones now we do have a, a flat crosswind so we're gonna go with a null movement here as well 0 0.2 bars of backspin 0 0.8 bars of side spin to the right 6.3 miles per hour gives us a total of 3.8 rings as and as always in this video here we're gonna pull over the bullseye pull the ball back down and then we're going to try to hit perfect oh there we go perfect ball and the ball bounces nicely on the fairway up just before the fringe and then has a beautiful roll right at pin for an hole in one here with crosswind so a couple of different wins a couple of different hole in ones and that's what i'm going to give you here today this is once again a tough par three and a tough golden shot to have that in mind when you play there is nothing wrong with choosing the medium version if you feel uncomfortable with this type of play i personally if i do need and want some berserkers i would definitely go here with a good feeling by having the guide but at the same time 
you know, if you don't really need Berserker balls and want just to have a safe way to a couple of balls and a couple of cards, and, you know, you might hit a great ball here and there, you know, in your game, then I would most likely choose the medium version with that in mind. Let's take a look at the text guide. The text guide is, as always, made by Tony Richardson for our viewing pleasure make sure you subscribe to tony link in the description down below and here you can see that we only have the landing position for the tailwind position and that's because a no movement is a no movement so the target is going to be at the same place so we don't really have to bother with that so no movement unless it's tailwind otherwise with tailwind we have top of the yellow rain by rough from plus three yard mark with the second bounce center of the dark green square before spin added then in tailwind you can see the red box at the bottom there one and a half bar backspin no side spin when it comes to wind coming left to right and then we do have a straight tailwind 1.7 backspin 0.1 bar side spin to the right so just a minor little click one and a half bar backspin 0.3 bars of right spin in wind coming right to left with tailwind and then we do have wind coming left to right we are going to play with 0.8 bars of right side spin yes that is correct and 0.2 bars of backspin and then wind coming right to left 1.2 right side spin and 0.2 bars of backspin then we do have wind coming southeast and we have 0 point right side spin only and then wind coming southwest 1.2 right side spin direct headwind 0 0.5 top spin and one right side spin have in mind that if you do have a wind angle that is in between any of the winds shown here on the spin wheel make sure that you need to tweak and you need to adapt otherwise you will get a different wrestle vpr table on the right hand side for the base of max plus 10 with the long iron so there we do have it ladies and gentlemen the hard version for you all and i hope you enjoyed it because i did as usual making the golden shot for you all make sure that you comment in the comment section below to let us know how it went for you if you usually struggle with the golden shot and might not get the result that you're hoping for make sure you press record on your device before you play because the golden shot does not save any replays because i would love to see and see if i could help out if you're doing something that might not be completely accurate to how we should be doing it here with the golden shots i have that in mind as well much love to you all thank you so much and have a beautiful day and good luck in the golden shots